Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Amiza. First thing first, I'm um, sorry for being late again in uploading my March plan with me. Um, I actually plan to record and um, upload this video a couple of days ago but um, I was super busy with um, work and personal stuff so yeah, I am truly sorry for that. My theme for this month is for leaf clover and as you guys know, for leaf clover is a symbol of luck and since March is my birth month, I feel like this is the perfect theme for me. Um, so anyway, I start off my setup with the cover page where I just draw a bunch of clovers um, that sort of scatter around the page. I draw the clovers with my art line drawing system in the size of 0.2. I then went ahead and outlined them with my green Crayola Super Tips. Um, I actually end up colouring in the clovers because I didn't really like how it turned out. Uh, when I edited it for my Instagram, I did it off camera but I promise I will share them on my Instagram account. For this cover page, I used the alphabet stamp that I've got from Tinted Ink. I will definitely link their account in my description. And speaking of Tinted Ink, we will be collaborating in a giveaway in a couple of days. Um, and the giveaway will be announced on my Instagram account in case you guys are interested to participate. To complete the decoration of this cover page, I then went ahead and used my gold gel pen to draw a border on the page. The gold gel pen that I used in this video is the Pilot G2 in the size of 07. Moving on to the next spread, this is my monthly log and in case anyone doesn't know, I've been using this same layout for um, a lot of my monthly setup. It has been one of my favorite layouts since um, last year, I think. Um, you guys can also check my playlist for all of my plan with me videos I've created so far. Um, Speaking of videos, after almost 5 months of making videos on YouTube, my channel recently reached 1,000 subscribers. Um, I know this is crazy, I am beyond grateful for you guys, so I would like to um, personally thank each and every one of you here for always being so kind. I am not lying when I say I really, really love this community. Um, so back to this spread, the size of each box is 5 times 5 grids. Here you can see me draw another bunch of um, 4 leaf clovers and I then went ahead and used the same alphabet stamp for the title. And as usual, the empty space on the left hand side is where I jot down some notes I have for this month.
the next page I have is my habit tracker spread this kind of tracker has been working great for me so far and I've been using this layout a lot last year so it is also one of my favorite um, I know some of you guys don't really track your habits and I've got some of you questioning me why do I track my habits so the answer to this is very simple um, I didn't do a very good job at building my habits so um, I feel like by tracking the habits um, it really improves my motivation and gives me a sense of everyday accomplishment I've been tracking my habits um, ever since I started bullet journaling a few years ago and I honestly feel that it really makes a difference so if any one of you never track your habit before I really suggest you to try it for a couple of months and see how you progress Alright, the next page is the self-care challenge spread. This is actually a recreation of my last year's spread for um, February. I decided to recreate this spread for this month because um, as I said earlier, March is my birth month. So I feel like this is the perfect time for me to actually um, take extra care and spend more time and money on myself so for this spread I will just um, go and list down 31 things that I can do for myself it can be as simple as enjoying sunset um, go for a walk or even watch my favorite movie the idea of this challenge is just to treat myself not necessarily with expensive things the next and the last spread for this setup is of course the weekly spread so for this spread, I am bringing back the Dutch door system into my bullet journal. The space on the left hand side is for me to write down all the notes or reminders I have for this particular week. And by using the Dutch door system, I can still um, refer to this section even when I already move on to the next page. And I feel like this is particularly helpful, um, especially for tasks that need more time to complete. So for the decoration of this page, I then went ahead and draw another bunch of four leaf clovers. So here's the final flip through of my March setup. Um, as I mentioned, I already colored in the clovers for all of these spreads. Um, but I hope you guys can get the rough idea. I think all my spreads for this month are very easy and straightforward. So feel free to tag me on my Instagram account if you guys recreate one of my spreads. Alright guys, before I leave you guys, don't forget to help me grow my baby channel by subscribing. Let me know if you guys like this video and if you guys have any questions. I will definitely talk to you guys again in my next video. Until then, bye bye.